Well, I don't see anyone though. So, um, yeah, this this was not exciting. Uh, Digger, Shadow, Shadow. Uh, can't see what you are. You are Guy. Are you a guy or is your name Guy? Hello? Hello? Hmm. I haven't seen you before. You are new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No, what do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. Oh, which one? Which of the huts can I take for myself? The hut over there with the little canopy is empty. Little canopy. All right, great, cool. That's so nice of you. Thanks a lot. Um, all right, so apparently he can tell us a bit more about the camps, and it seems that he is the first person who can give us his opinion without, you know, suggesting to to join any certain camp. So uh, maybe he will help us make a decision. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. And what if two people fight each other who both pay protection money? Then the guards just watch until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. Great. That's. I'm sure that system works. What goods are considered precious here? Well, that's a silly question. Well, I would ask that. I think I've heard enough about the old camp. I like it here. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about the new camp. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages, but they're too busy studying the barrier all day. Okay. Why should I join the sect? Well, you'd better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. All right. So, um, basically the old camp is a dictatorship, the new camp is mm, maybe anarchy, yeah, most likely, and the sect camp is, of course, a, um, how is it called, a religious state, so to say. So, um, yeah, we have to choose between those three, All right? and this is, I think, our new home. So, um, uh, you, you just wait here, okay? I'll just check out my home. Oh, there's some ham in here. Cool. And a chest. And a bed. What? This is awesome. And another chest for, for, for some reason. Great. Cool. Cool beans. All right. And Mod is not talking to me anymore. That is awesome. Okay, uh, let's check around for a bit more. While there's still uh, still sun. Is it possible we're walking in circles? I mean, I don't know where you want to go. Mod, please. I I told you. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. Great. Thanks. I'm not sure if this actually works, but it seems to be. It seems to be working. Okay, let's have a look around. Digger, digger. Uh. What's your name? Hope? Is your name really Hope? I'll just talk to you. 
It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet. But that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. Okay, his name might be who know, but I'm not sure. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Sorry. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I can sell them to you. Okay. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. Let's have a look. I'm actually only talking to him about this because I think that once you are thrown in jail, it is most important that you find a a position for yourself, a a job uh, at best, or well, just a position in general, as quickly as possible. Um, so to um, you know fit in and become a valuable member of this new community that you are thrown in. At least that's my personal opinion. I have never been to jail myself, so I can only guess. But yeah, let's try to make ourselves valuable so that people will notice us and respect us and so on. So, um, oh boy, that's a lot. I have two pieces of all. I, <laughs> I am absolutely broke, actually. Hi, yeah, but thanks, it was nice talking to you. Uh, who know. Okay, let's keep on going. And did you see that little chimney up there? That's awesome. That is really great. Yeah, I can like uh, I I like that that you can actually walk on top of the huts here that they are part of the of the wall of the garrison. That is a really neat idea, even though it must be quite bothering for um, the people who live here, uh, who live in those huts, you know, because they can't really sleep at night. This is a long ladder. Someone will hurt himself. Whoa! Mott just jumped down. Are you okay? Great. Uh, right. This is an abandoned hut, actually. And we find a meat bug here. Right, let's try to hit it. I'm actually not sure whether I can hit it with my sword or whether I need to unequip it. Seems so. Yeah, I can't, can't hit it with my sword. Need to use my bare fists to get these beasts down. Gosh, it's so difficult to get them. Ah! Come on. Alright, where is it? There we go. Come on. Really? Alright, this is taking a bit too long to... Alright, this is getting embarrassing. Oh, there we go. Finally. Bloody hell. Where's the other one? There we go. Great. Okay, we got some... Uh... Meat bug... What? I would like to be in his shoes, though. Hello, little meat bug. Uh, I'm not sure if you bugged out, so that I can't actually hit you. There we go. Right. Where are you? Sorry, Mr. Shadow. I'm I'm not trying to bother you. I'm just collecting meat, bug meat 
for Snuff the Cook. Yeah, that's actually his name. So don't don't kill me. Okay, and there are just more more huts here. And your name is Kirgo. Hello. Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long. But I've already won a fight. Okay, so... You are a new fighter. That's cool. Karim. Are you deaf? Or are you looking for trouble? What? Okay. You've asked what? for what? it. What? 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 What's going on? Is he going to hit That me? guy's sneaking off! What? Why, why did he get so angry at me? Did Mott do anything stupid? Okay, I'm not sure if I can go back there. Heavens, what did I do? Kogo, are you alright? Gosh. What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. What is the sleeper? You will find priests who will be able to answer that question better than I can in our camp. I'll just tell you this much. The sleeper is our redeemer. He has led us to this place, and he'll get us out of here. You mean you're waiting for your god to liberate you? Yes, and the wait will soon be over. A great invocation is currently being prepared. Hmm. And you got a... Eh? You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. All right, great. That's that's great for you. I'm, I'm actually too nervous to get any. Oh, you have a name as well. I'm too nervous to get any. We're close to Kirgo because he seems to be kind of the kind of a madman. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Okay. That's quite a lot. And I still don't have any skill points, so... Ah, boy. Oh, boy. Alright, Mod is somehow gone. Which is good, but then again, that happens quite often. And then he just returns. Um, once you stay over here. Or maybe he actually is gone. Uh, which would be nice. But in any case, it's night time by now, so we will... Oh, oh, maybe there's a fight going on. Let's have a... Oh, I can't get through here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, what are you guys staring at? There's, there's nothing to see. Uh, that's weird. That's something we might do tomorrow. And until then... I hope you guys enjoyed this first set of Gothic 1, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye bye.